yes be welcome to our developer session today we want to make a short demonstration on how to create a virtual environment for the application development we need first uh, the developer pc and the developer pc is most of the time our hardware it's the normal pc and today i want to show you how to create a development environment in azure so that you can reuse it you can make a copy you can use it as a template and share this virtual machine and recreate it if there is a problem so my recommendation is to use azure as an infrastructure for our development environment for that you have to open your azure portal you have to log in i hope you have an azure account if not then it is time to create one inside of this azure account the first thing we have to do is we have to create a resource group for that we have to we can open the resource group here resource group and in the resource group we can create a new resource group we, the resource group we want to create we need first a subscription and uh, maybe we can select here like dev development app development environment uh, dev app decide in which region yes we can select here is us depending on where we are sitting if i hit on create then the environment will be created inside okay now our dev app environment is here visible now when i open it I can see that inside of this development dev uh, app development environment we have no resources now i want to create a resource the new resource i want to create here should be a visual studio uh, uh, 2019 and i hit select here visual studio 2019 latest then it proposed me a series of visual studio vm here I can select Visual Studio 2019 Community Latest Release and hit on Create. Now I have to select my subscription, the resource group, and enter here a name for my VM. I call this here App Development VM. And I will use the same region is US. Okay, it is a development environment. I mean, I can create a copy, so I don't need absolutely a replication, a redundance. I, here, I want to keep the cost a bit lower. If I use here, of, I can change the size of my VM. The thing is, I can look the cost that I can support depending on what I want to use on this VM if I need like a four core then it will cost something like 118 euro each month but here if I use it 24 hours a day if I use it only five days a week like eight hours a week uh, a day then you will realize that we are here maybe like something 20 euro or 10 euros in a month and for that for the environment we will have for our development it can be really cheap now we have we need here a user account so that we have to access this virtual environment i can use here like student and for the password i have to use here a top secret password that I will certainly not share with you uh, and now I can create I don't need to make much more but let us only create it I don't create it based on the virtual license that will be generated from Azure now we see here how much it will cost each 
hour that means if I work like eight hours a day it will be like one euro in a day you see and I think we can still customize it to have not this all this cost to support all this cost let us check again if our visual if our uh, virtual machine creation process is closed yes it is now closed I can go back to home and go to resource groups in the resource groups I can open the development app environment and here you realize that we have now many things that are created the most important is our virtual machine this virtual machine is called app dev vm if i open this vm i have now the ip address of my vm i have a private ip address in my network and a subnet mask now here to connect to this vm i can hit here on connect and use the remote desktop download this file download the remote desktop file and this file i can now save it and share it with all my colleagues who want to use the same development uh, environment now we have here to add our user account that we have created earlier it was a student and our top secret password to log in and i i need to install some component for my development now if i go here and check if i have installed visual studio visual studio code is already installed that is one of the first component i need here oh, no, sorry. now i need to open the now i can go to google and enter here or i can only open a new tab and enter here okay here i can enter enter um, a gps node.js.org to download the newest version the recommended one if i select node.js 12.16 then i will download this version and after download i can it will take a bit time to finish the download and i can then run it it's finished i can click on open the folder and install this package here hit on finish after a restart after the installation of node.js now if i enter here load load then we see that we have here the version 12.11.1 and what we need now is to install the package manager well, and here we open the following link and in this link we have to install the win the zip the m and vm zip folder for windows and if i download this open the folder and unzip this package i have to unzip it and then now we can install this nvp I accept now the package manager and type here command share and here i enter nvm list so i will see the current version of uh, the current version that i have installed so select the version now we have installed we have in this virtual environment node.js installed 
we have Visual Studio installed we have Visual Studio Code also installed if we want to develop a SharePoint project then we have to install the human for SharePoint the SharePoint generator using npm install human generator that means you have to run this method and uh, for team so to create a, a SharePoint project we have to use the U SharePoint to create a SharePoint project and U team to create a team project our focus today was to create first a development environment where Visual Studio is installed where Visual Studio code is installed and where the Node.js package is also installed okay now I hope it was helpful with this uh, concept of development environment based on Visual Studio I hope it was helpful for more questions let me know best thing.